Hello everyone, and this is Chuck Thunder, and we are starting a brand new Let's Play series. Uh, kind of like a No Man's Land series, but in the new Elk Mountain mod map, which I saw FSG doing. That's Farm Sim Guy, and I fell in love and wanted to participate. So we are going to do a semi-roleplay series here in this game play where we are brand new to the game, We're brand new to this world, we just kind of took a wander to get our look out of what this area looks like, and we are going to get ourselves, um, you know, working on a starting point of this game, so just so you guys are aware of how we're going to start this roleplay series, is we are going to first get ourselves out of this little area here, we don't own any vehicles, we don't own any property, we have 1.5 million dollars right now so what I'm gonna do is create a realistic starting point if you're somebody who moved in to an area like this and you want to move in what are you going to look for so we are first going to make some adjustments to our starting point so first things first we are going to add and remove some money so this is realistic. You move to Wyoming with everything else that you've sold all your belongings and you're going to be left with some minuscule amount of money. So what we're going to look into is we're going to just get ourselves enough money to start buying property. So um, actually before we do that, let's take a look at the properties out there. We don't want to buy a major amount of property, but we want to look at what property is feasible for us that we can begin making into arable land um, and some of these properties are like twenty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars nine thousand dollars twenty nine thousand dollars so we're not going to go crazy here um, this piece of property is 18 74 that farm is 42 there's a farm right here that we might consider using it's a small enough farm and with some property that we could turn into a field um, I've used this piece of property before, which I've liked in some other, I'm playing like a personal series down here, and I kind of like that, but I want to change it up. Don't want to buy the huge piece of property here. Here's another farm out here, too large. Here's another piece of property, too large. Hard to see the boundaries on these properties. Big, big, too big. Oh, we could buy the river. This is a tough piece of property to get to, so we're not going to do that. Um, actually, this property is like impossible to reach because there's breaking the water here, and there's no place to get to it other than through the mountains, so that's not something we're interested in. It's a slender piece. I don't want to be too far from town either. So, there's a piece there, but it's got a lot of mountains on it, and there is an open slot for us to use over here. Oh, goodness. I don't know. Let's take a look. So I think what we're going to end up choosing is this small farm over here, or this piece here. Probably this one, because there's there's other farmland we could buy that we don't have to plow necessarily immediately. That's a lot of money. Oh, it's worth it. Value is zero. I guess we could buy it. That's weird. Buy the river. And we'll get this piece of land here. It also gets us that. <laughs> we're not about to buy the river. I think we're going to start with this simple farm over here just because this farm right here is nice and small. So we don't need a lot of money. Um, <clears throat> we might say that we were um, given this piece of property. So we're going to go ahead and buy it now. And that property is ours now. Um, Uh, we'll just pick this up over here. One of the things about this is that the collectible we're going to find in the game. And let us teleport over there. We are now at our property across the way. So this is our property here. Take down 
our sign. We now own this. So this is our property right here. We now own all of that. Can we, do we own this? We might, but we can't go inside. And do we own this? Can't go inside. Interesting, okay. Well, we own some property. But now this is the piece of property that was given to us by, let's say, a uncle of ours who, well, maybe not an uncle. Let's just say it was my brother who was growing a property out here and he's uh, since moved on, retiring, and no longer wants to take care of his farm. He uh, raised some chickens primarily and has since sold all his chickens and now has an unopened an open area of property here to the right that he has not used much of for anything else. Um, and he has gone and sold some other property though and has left us with no ability to harvest off of this field because somebody has bought it from us already so we don't have anything. So now let's go ahead and adjust our money. We don't have money. We were given nothing. We have, let's say we have 25 grand to our disposal. Oops, no, 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 no. We have 25 grand equal to 25,000. There we go. So here we are. We were left with this property. Um, this is our home. We have to make sure that we can actually sleep here. So let us go to construction, buildings, farmhouses, and we need a mat to sleep on. So this is where we wake up every day. Okay, so this is where we sleep. So we were given this piece of property. Um, and he has since sold everything, but left everything else to us. So he sold all his equipment, all of his other things, and we are uh, necessarily need to get started on returning this to its old glory. We have a rundown house, a small little outhouse here that is used for, you know, internal storage, but nothing else. And then a barn with a silo that is no longer functioning. It's more for decorative uh, looks. And here we are with our main barn. So not much going on for us. I'll open up these doors so you guys can see. There is no basement. The doors can open. Not that door. So yeah. Welcome to our new home. So we are going to need to get started on turning our land into something. So our land over here is open. We could begin shopping. So let us get down to our shop. I'll go visit it. There we are. Visit. All right, we're here. We're going to take a look at what we can buy. We have a tight budget, so we have to get started on some basic needs. Oops. Open the shop menu. What's on sale? Anything that worthwhile that we can afford? Not really. We have a small auger wagon here. Of some kind. I know it's a grape wagon. Uh, nothing that we could buy here. So we got to look at our tractors. We are going to need a small tractor. This tractor is a really small tractor. Only 18 horsepower. Can we pull anything with that? That was a question. Like if we're going to be creating a field, we need a plow. And do we have any plows that we can do that with? We have one plow that is half a meter wide that we can do that with. We have a 1.1 meter plow that requires 80 horsepower. We have a 1.4 meter horsepower, a 1.4 meter that requires 130, 150. Here's a reasonable one. So this 1.1 needed 80, this 1.2 needed 85. This guy needs 320, I believe. I don't think they make anything smaller for that. So, looks like the smallest plow, like, we're going to try to aim for, if we can get a 
tractor of 150 horsepower to pull a 1.75 meter. If not, we'll get a 1.4 meter or even the 1.1 meter. So if we can get a horsepower as high as 150, that's what we'll look at. So we'll look at our tractors. We're definitely not going to go with this dinty little tractor. Here we have 30 H horsepower, so that's not much of a pulling power. 32, same thing, not much. This tractor can get us, so this one can get us 105. I don't think we can get much higher than that, though. Let's see. Engine set up 105. Yes, the highest we can get with the John Deere. This says get as high as 85. This will get us as high as 105. 85. Wow, well, we're going to spend our entire budget at that point. So we're going to have to go with the largest tractor we can afford. That doesn't break the budget, so that might be our John Deere here for 15,000. Get us 105 horsepower, whereas this gets us only 85. I like the look of this better, but we might be better off getting our bigger tractor here. This may be the one we get. Pretty straightforward tractor to start. Configurations if we can get a front weight standard, so we're just not going to get anything on that yet. Wheel setups, we're not going to go nuts. We'll leave it basic. Original design, nothing else going on there. No designs needed. Front loader attacher would be, uh, that would be, a, that would be ideal. Um, because then we can do some gravel work if we have to. And I think it might be worth it in the long run. So let's go ahead and get that started now. We want to get the largest engine we can get. But for an extra five horsepower, it may not be worth it. So we're not going to pay for that. Headland management's too expensive to add. GPS, same thing. So we are just going to, yeah, if we can paint it for free, we will. So here's our first starting tractor for 15,000. Oh, six, 17,000 after you add the front loader attachment. So we go ahead and buy our first tractor. And we will need our first plow. So we will get the largest one we can get is the 80 horsepower plow. Let's change the color up. Hate every color. So we'll go with this one. Uh, Coulter on or off doesn't really change anything. I think about the function, so that's what we're gonna get. Main color adds us 80 bucks. Whatever we can, we can earn that back. All right, there's our first tractor. So let's get her hooked up and let's get a plowing. So the locals don't know anything about me yet, so this is my first time in here. I only got $5,000 to my name, so we're going to have to be very selective about what we do for these people around here. See if they can help us out with some of the uh, the needs that we might eat, because we don't have a way to seed or anything yet. And I'm looking for seeders here. That's a speeder, sorry. There's a seeder here, and the cheapest seeder here is 7000 which we can't even afford yet. We may be able to get a plow, a plow, a um, planter. Let's see. Where are my planters? No, nope, no nope, planters. And we can't afford any of those planters. We might have to come back and see if there's something else later on when we get there. We are not anywhere close for planting yet. Get down. We're not anywhere close for our planters yet. Because all these planters are too expensive, so we might have to come back. Um, maybe somebody has a deal for us that we can take advantage of. But right now, we have to get to plowing. And then once the plowing is done, then we can plant. And then maybe we could do some fertilizer spreading with a really cheap spreader. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. And we'd love to lime it too. But again, we need 3000 bucks. And that's going to come down the line. So right now, our main focus, get to plowing. So we will uh, drive back to town, back through town. And we will see you guys when we have finished with plowing up the field. 
You guys might have noticed I have auto drive installed, so we are going to use auto drive to set up a route to and from some places once we get to that stage. Right now, to and from the uh, um, the shop, uh, the, the purchasing area is not a big deal. So, right now, we're just going to get to plowing, plow up a small field for us. We'll decide what we want to plant based off of what we can get from some locals um, around here. It may be possible that we can do some work for some people that earn a little extra cash to get one of the better cedars, or we may be able to find a planter from one of the local scrapyards um, that could do some work for us. So we'll check in when we're there. Um, enjoy the montage of me plowing. Alright everybody, and we're finishing up the plowing job on our new field. There's a few spots that just don't want to get plowed up for whatever reason, but the plow is done. Um, hopefully that montage was not too crappy. Alright, we have finished doing the plow job. So, while you guys were away, I received a phone call on my uh, cell phone here that tells me that there's some new stuff brought in to the shop that we can take a look at that we may find useful. We are going to go take a look at the shop today because there's some new products brought in. So not on sale, but there is a new planter that I want to take a look at. Couple new planters. This is an $8,000 planter that we just can't afford, but there's this nice $2,700 planter that'll do some basic um, planting for us. Now, it does do corn, sunflower, soybeans, sugar beet, or cotton. Um, so that is a very close option for us because we may be able to get some uh, soybean action going on because it's something we could harvest with a traditional harvester. Um, but I also wanted to look at weeders because I heard that weeders can seed, in some cases, grass. And they can. However, the really expensive ones can do it. The cheapest one being 18000 I thought maybe grass would be great, but you know, we have some grass around here that we can harvest off on our own. So we might really truly get a way to do 
our planter situation going on and just do some soybeans. Just want to make sure that if we do purchase a harvester, one of the cheaper harvesters out in the game right now, which is this John Deere, if we don't purchase it, we may lease it, um, but it can do soybeans. Um, and I just want to check the, so the harvester heads here. Yeah, they can do soybeans. So we can do soybeans next season with as low as 28,000 bucks. So we are going to have to get that planter. So that is the first thing we're going to do. And we're going to fill that planter. Where art thou? I'm losing the word planter. There it is. I'm going to get that planter so we can get this started. And we're going to have to buy some seed to go with it. Now, do we have single bags? I don't think we do. We have big bags. We've got pallets. I oh, know we do have single bags. So we can buy seeds for a small amount, 50 bucks. Um, we're going to double check to see how many liters that holds. So we have to go get it. We'll go see what it takes to fill it. Mm -hmm. And we'll get to planting. Um, so we will check back in with you as soon as we reach there and we see what we can fill it with because at the very least we will end the episode there once we pick it up and bring it back over to our field to get planting and then we will pick up the next episode with where we leave off with the, when the planting is done. So I do appreciate everybody uh, who has stopped by. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video if you like what I'm doing. My name is Chuck Thunder, and we do all sorts of games, but right now we've been focused on Farming Simulator and uh, doing some Elk Mountain. I would like to get a uh, quickie on here, or whatever it is, the um, forklift, a forklift, jeez, I can't think of what I'm looking for, a um, front loader attachment onto this tractor, but that's not going to be down for a little while. Plus, now that we have the planter we may also pick up a fertilizer spreader um, I know the fields gonna need lime too so we may have to skip lime the first time around and just get what we can off the field if we can't afford it or we might do some contracts if we can to, to do that to make a little extra cash on the side but we'll meet you over there at the uh, shop where we just bought our planter Right, we're back. We're gonna go hook up to our new planter. Two little row planter here. I'm not sure how much it holds. We're gonna take a look at our um, inventory of things here. Find out what it holds. 100 liters so that means two bags of seed so that's virtually nothing but that's what it takes one bag second bag back it up and we should just be able to fill it right up dang done now i don't know how far 100 liters is going to get us but It'd be interested to see how or where it goes from there because we may have to get a trailer or something to bring back some seed with us because this really gonna get old going back and forth if we have to so we'll meet you back there um, and we'll get started and then we'll probably stop the episode there and then we'll re bring you back in when we've planted that whole field and if it requires us having to buy a trailer and that's what we'll have to do in order to get the seed back and forth. If that's the case, I'll show you real quick what trailer we're going to consider potentially buying. We have trailers here, and the cheapest trailer being this guy here. I think there's even a cheaper trailer, 4000 bucks there. This trailer I'm not a huge fan of just because it belongs to the TLX, and we're probably not going to use that. We could get this trailer here. There's a really low trailer there. This may be the way to go. It only holds 1.6 cubic meters, but it may be what we have to go with. And we don't have the money. 
So we'll catch it back up with how far this gets us. And we definitely don't want to do corn. We want to do soybean because soybean is going to be harvestable with our traditional harvester head header. And I'm just really curious to how far this money is going to take us because we are not going to be able to buy everything we want. And we're going to probably have to buy a bunch of seed and go back and forth, back and forth. I really suspect that this 100 liters of seed is going to run out fairly quickly. We'll get an idea as soon as we set down the thing and set it up for, uh, for that. So we'll, we'll see. We're almost there. We'll meet you back over there. See you in a bit. Well, everybody, we just got over here to realize one big mistake we made. So, we forgot we are dealing with seasons, and it is August. And guess what? We can't plant anything this August with this machine. Nope, we don't have a way to plant grass or alfalfa with this. So, that means we have to wait till next month, and next month we can only plant wheat, barley, canola, or oats. And this machine can't do any of that. So we went and bought seed for no reason for something that we cannot plant right now. So, being a terrible farmer that we are, we are going to have to suck it up until it is time to plant. So that means the remaining season we are going to have to find some work. And or buy a new planter. We may have to sell this off and find a new cedar. Are there any cedars out there that we can afford? Cedars? That's a seven thousand dollar cedar. We we will be able to afford that if and only if we can get some contracts done. So let's see if there's any contracts to be done. Harvesting, fertilizing, spraying. Supply and transport. No, we can't do anything. We can do plowing, we can do harvesting, and we can do fertilizing. We earn a little bit of money if we do. And we can kind of rank it here. So, if we're going to rank it by net profit, obviously, supply and transports are going to. This plowing, though, is going to earn us quite a bit of money. So, that may be what we do. So, we are going to go borrow those items. Um, okay, that seemed to have gone away. I clicked borrow. So we're going to clear the contracts. We'll buy new contracts. Hmm. We really screwed ourselves. So, guess what? Being a terrible farmer who knows nothing about farming, we are going to have to change things up a bit. We are going to have to do a little bit of finagling. We can't even do any contracts because the contracts are going to cost us too much to do them. Harvesting might be the only thing we can do. Fertilizing we can't do. Spraying we can't do because we have to buy the herbicide and buy the things for it. We can't do the supply and herbs. Can't do that either. So, we might have to do some logging. And logging requires a chainsaw. So, let's go buy one. Miscellaneous chainsaws by a Johnsonard. And we can do a little bit clearing some trees on our property. Not much, but, and even when we do, we have to transport it. 
So we're going to need that trailer I was talking about. Something to bring that over. We don't have the money for it. Well, we might have to take a loan from the bank. Or if we sell this planter. We can sell the planter and sell that seed that was in it. We made a boo-boo. So we had to sell the planter just so we can get a trailer. for logging. Man, we have our work cut out for us. With $843 to our name, I think I have an idea. But, in the meantime, guys, what are we going to do? Uh, the idea might have something to do with cutting up trees, and that's one way to do it. Or, we drive around the map looking for some logs that we can go ahead and sell. Because I know of a few places where there's some logs or some antlers that we could find that may be able to get us out of this bind. Looks like we're going to go on a road trip. We'll check in soon. Take it easy. All right, so we're checking back in with everybody here with my next episode of my Elk Mountain series. And if you remember last time, we realized we made some boo-boos, and we needed to make up for those boo-boos. So we learned that we cannot plant what we thought we should plant, be able to plant this time of year. We wanted to plant um, <clears throat> some, uh, I think we wanted to plant, what we, I, want, I had a planter, so my planting my idea was to plant soybeans, but I can't even plant them until next May. So I went and sold the planter, and I need to make up some money between now and when I can plant these next options, which is going to be wheat, barley, or canola next month, or oat. So I need to get enough money to buy a cedar in order to plant those things. So I made up a little bit of money by driving around with this new trailer that I bought, which is a really tiny, tiny trailer, and I am looking for logs. Just loose logs lying around on the map because those logs are basically free timber. Now, I could be cutting my own, which I might do, uh, but I can't cut anything else other than what was on my own property. But these logs are lying around all over the map, and they are free. So that was one of the things that I said to myself, I'm gonna have to do. So like, here's an example right here, I believe. No, it's not a log. It's not an example. Well, terrible example. But I know where there are some. And we are going to go look for them. But, yeah, so we need to earn quite a bit of money in order to do this. So, in order to do this, we are going to have to earn enough money to buy a cedar. Which, cedars are here, and the cheapest cedar is 7000 bucks. So, we're already at 2400 And... We can get there if we get a few extra thousand and then sell this trailer. Um, that will get us there. But um, we don't want to necessarily get rid of this trailer just yet. If we can help it, even though it's small, it also can carry um, some of our crop. So until we can afford a better trailer, we will um, keep this one. We also thought maybe we'd do some contracts. But contracts like harvesting and stuff take a long time. Fertilizing requires using these equipments, which we can do, which I tried to do a little bit before and it didn't quite work. Um, but I also need to buy the fertilizer, so that's kind of the problem. And these things we just don't have the ability to do, so we aren't about to do any contracts for anybody anytime soon. Nonetheless, if somebody offers us a great deal, but you know, we're doing what scrappers would do. We're looking for scrap wood to sell at the lumber mill. Um, we don't get the best of money for it, but it is something we do have to do. Now, if you're wondering what's going on with my glitches here, it's a visual glitch with the, um, it's, I think the visual distancing here. Um, it depends on how many, yeah, there looks like it stopped. 
So, yeah. So, but I do know a few areas that we can go to find these logs. Um, and we are going to do this until, um, until we earn a few thousand bucks. So we will rejoin you once that is done. Alright, we got a small load. It's a little glitchy. Logs don't like to stack them on the side of this thing. I really hate this that this is what I have to do. Because I shouldn't have to do it like this in order to get by. But it is what's gotta be done. We're gonna have to grind away with logs until we reach that point where we can buy some seeding material for the next month. Luckily we have a month to do it, but that is what we're going to have to do. Maybe that's what we'll do, is we'll do all of that until we get to a cedar, and then uh, once we finish doing it, um, we'll catch back up with you guys. Jeez. I'm going to see this right now, it's going to be such a pain on but, 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 I would like to go find all of those antlers to recoup some of the money, but we aren't about to cheat. It's all about the grind, guys. Sometimes you have to make it work and make it happen with a little money and very little help. I'm probably going to get like 500 bucks for this. You're going to get an idea of how long it's going to take. at this rate. Alright, let's see what we get for this small, small load. Yep, 500 bucks. What did I say? This is going to be long. Long endeavor. You know what? We are going to shortcut it a bit. We're going to sell this trailer. We're going to sell our plow. Because we already plow the fields. I mean, we continue to plow other fields, but 
Plow, sell the plow, sell the plow. We now have enough to buy the cedar. Huh. And that's what we'll do. Wish we can get it for cheaper, but we do have it now. So much easier now. We don't have to worry about that. We did earn our money back though, actually, with a few logs that we did find. Um, prior to showing you guys what my plan was, and then cutting those logs, and then selling them, and finding that antler. That paid for the trailer that we bought, that we ended up selling back, so we got our money back on it. And then so. so we need to walk away with nothing, but we definitely need to consider the fact that this cedar that we are getting is going to be pretty much the only way we are going to get started with our seeding. We're going to have to lease if we can or borrow a harvester from a contract to harvest our stuff. <laughs> that may be what we have to do. I've done it once before, I believe, in other games where you use the harvester to harvest other people's fields. I use it to harvest my own field. Get hooked up. I'm going to have to buy some seed. Now, seed... 800 bucks we can't afford, but we can buy it by the bag. Let's buy 200 dollars worth of, or 100 dollars worth of stuff, whatever it costs us to buy that. That may do the trick. Let's buy one more just to be safe. I like that we can buy single bags. That may be enough to do what we need to do next month. did need to sell our chainsaw, which is good. We will need to find a cheaper trailer. A cheap trailer at some point. We just don't know what that's going to be. But we will need to find one. We gotta use this time to do something to take our us some money. We can't do nothing. We can't also go on the negatives either, but that's gonna likely happen. We may be able to sell a building, actually. That's what we may be able to do. We may be able to sell a building. Can we plant grass, actually? Because that would be interesting too. Can we plant grass this time of year? We can, so we could get seeding right now, actually, and plant a grass field, and then we don't have to keep on wasting money on seed, we can harvest the field with a mower, a baler, or a, I don't know, we'll have to say, well, we did grass, we'd have to be able to bale it and or collect it and ferment it which we can't really do. And we don't have a way to wrap it either. We don't have a place to dump it. Before we plant anything, we have to look to see. Can we get anything for selling a building or two? That is the real question. So 
Alright, well, let's take a look. I don't want to sell this right here. But I might consider selling this building. Because it doesn't do anything for us. It doesn't do jack for us. This one doesn't do anything. Farmhouse doesn't do anything. Barn. We can sell the barn. Fence does nothing for us. Well, wonderful. We have nothing to sell other than the barn, and the barn is housing nothing right now. But we could sell the barn. Well, we might have no choice. Well, we're not going to do it. Well, yeah, we got a model. We'll see. Can we do something with the $50,000 really more than anything? Can we do anything with the 50000 We can't. This is an auger wagon for grapes. We can buy a trailer, but can we get a mower? Mowers. Alright, there's a cheap mower that we could use. So that's good. And then can we get a baler? Or a bale wrapper? There's a baler there for 8,000. And then our bale wrappers, though. Only wrap round bales. Well, this one does square bales, but it's 50,000 bucks. But no, this one does square bales. That would make silage for us. So for 35,000 bucks. We can wrap square bales, but I can't make round bales. Oh, and I won't be able to wrap this size bale. Yeah, this stinks. Really stinks. Forge wagon, $30,000 forge wagon. Well, that would work. I'd be able to take the grass and be able to put it someplace and at least collect it and sell it. So for thirty-two thousand, I can get a mower and something to pick up the for stuff, and then can I place a silo within that twenty thousand? Well, it doesn't appear so. Yeah, we we're kind of screwed. So our choices are limited. We won't be able to do a bunker silo. Twenty-five thousand. I can mean, I could do a bunker silo for twenty-five thousand, but I then need to spend thirty thousand on a way to pick up my straw. But at least we could pick up grass, and then we could sell grass. Grass doesn't sell for much. But we can make some money doing it. We can make money doing it. Hay is not worth much more. Actually, it is worth a little bit more. So we, if we can get a tether. Seriously? Oh, it's diesel. I was going to say, straw is worth that much? So yeah, they, I could tet it and make... So it's $96 that we buy hay. And that we buy hay, it's worth $121 if I beat it into straw, if I actually made it into hay. So I could buy a tether if I wanted to and pick up tetted stuff. Where's my tethers? And I have that cheap tether I just picked up too. So, okay. We could do that. Unfortunately, that does mean selling the barn. So, goodbye barn. Sell. Sold the barn, everybody. Which means that now we have to buy... Well, you know what? We don't have to buy anything right now. We need the money. We'll see what we can buy 
as we need it. We will be getting a mower though, more than anything, because we can mow in the meantime other things. grass we can get down with 200 and something liters of grass seed. I'm sure we can get somewhere for that. But if you're ready, you'll, we'll check in with you next episode when I seeded this field and we'll reach the next growth stage. We'll talk again then because we don't need to buy anything right now other than are you sure this is going to steal the side? Okay, good. Yeah, we don't really need to do anything else other than just wait, because um, we don't know that we're going to need a mower. We got the mower, so we can at least mow other things. And I guess we can get the, the forge wagon that we were just talking about, but that's about it, because it's all we really need. We have the horsepower to make it work. Whether or not we can turn it into hay or straw generally doesn't matter right now. Cause we're not at that stage and we need the money. Well, it's 1,300 bucks, so it's really not that big a deal. Well, I don't know. I guess we get it. We just get it. And then we could do something with the, uh, the, the hay at some point. We could either. So we picked up. Oh, I'm stupid. I could, have, I could have not picked up the straw that way. I could have bailed it into hay bales for cheaper than this. But then I wouldn't have been able to make silage at some point. Because I would still need to buy a silage bag. So we just don't have the money for that. So we're going to just earn that money so we can then do silage. So we have everything we need now to get started to do silage. And earn a little bit of money back in time. Um, but yeah. We'll check in with you guys when that's all finished up at some point, and we'll talk again later. Later, guys.